So happy 2017 everyone, and while I'm sure a lot of you are excited to get a glimpse of the future of gadgets shown off at CES this week, 2016 last year introduced a lot of great tech products that I'm still dreaming about owning today. Hi, I'm David, and these are the best tech gear and gadgets of 2016 that I still want to cross off my wish list. So full disclaimer up front, I don't own any of these products on my wish list. So they may suck in real life, but I still want to try them out. So one of the biggest purchases I had for 2016 was my new ultra wide monitor. And I love it, but then Samsung recently launched their new CF791 ultra wide monitor, and it's really tempting me with its latest and greatest specs. It's a 34 inch ultra wide with 3440 by 1440 resolution, but its real killer feature is its super curved 1500 millimeter radius screen, quantum dot technology for a wider gamut of colors, and supports up to 100 hertz and FreeSync that makes it a nice upgrade for immersive movies and gaming experiences. Next, I love camera gear, and I purchased my Panasonic G7 at the beginning of last year, and it records great 4K video and I have no real complaints. But then its successor, the Panasonic G85 came out, and the upgrade bug started itching again. The G85's killer feature, in-body 5-axis image stabilization, that can make for some clean, stable videos even with my shaky hands. Add on the improved weather sealed and magnesium alloy body construction, an electromagnetic driven shutter for silent shock-free photography operation, it's definitely a solid upgrade from my current G7. Even new office chairs are tempting me. I've moved from the Ikea Marcus to the Volmer, and I've been pretty happy with the change. But last year Herman Miller launched their new Aeron Remastered, an updated take on their iconic chair. With an improved tilt mechanism to improve comfort while reclining, new adjustments to support your lumbar, and an updated mesh material to help reduce pressure points, it sounds like a solid upgrade on a great looking and timeless chair. I need a new phone, and I probably should just grab a OnePlus 3T, since it pretty much does everything I need in a phone. But if I spend a little bit more, I could get a flagship phone like a Samsung S7 Edge or a Google Pixel that really appeals to me with their high quality cameras, or even the futuristic Xiaomi Mix. Definitely not the most practical phone, and is a crazy fingerprint magnet without a case, but that screen bezel pretty much sells itself. Talking about impractical things, drones. But then DJI came out with their Mavic, and the impracticality of owning a drone was at least convenient to carry around town. The size, the weight, with pretty much no compromise to features or quality, it's pretty much the best drone you can own right now for most people. But with all the government regulations and the likelihood that I'll just break it, this will probably be the last thing I cross off my wish list. The Bose QC25s are my current go-to headphones. They don't have the best audio quality if you're an audiophile, but the noise cancellation is second to none. But what I don't like with these headphones is dealing with a 3.5mm cable all the time. So when Bose came out with the QC35s last year with its built-in Bluetooth connectivity, it's only natural that I want to upgrade to them. I don't need another backpack. I have one for the gym, one for travel, and one just for tech. But that doesn't mean I don't want another one. If I had to add another to my collection, maybe it would be the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. With adjustable flaps inside to conform to any situation, from camera gear to typical tech, and just a whole slew of other well thought out features and a stylish design, I wouldn't mind adding it to my growing collection. I still own a plasma TV. Yes, it's old. Yes, it's big and heavy but you can't beat the colors and dark blacks you get with it. Unless you go to OLED. So when LG launched their new entry-level B6 series of OLED TVs, I started getting excited. While I wouldn't call them anywhere close to cheap, the price has definitely come a long way down. And with OLED TVs like the B6, you're pretty much getting the best image quality in TVs today. Fantastic colors, dark blacks, and a super thin design. A worthy upgrade for my home theater setup. And finally, a computer. I never usually buy a pre-built or an all-in-one PC, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't love the convenience or the style of an all-in-one design. 
So when the Microsoft Surface Studio was revealed, I had to add it to my wish list. It's super clean design with its large 28 inch screen, that smooth tilting action, and the fact that it's a giant touchscreen display with a really cool physical dial, what's not to love about it? Probably not the price and the dated internal component, but hopefully someone comes out with a monitor only version of this design in the future. So that's my current wish list for 2016. I'm sure there will be new things added once CS 2017 finishes this week, but if I missed anything, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.